how to create an online course by using Thrive Apprentice. Stick with me until the end of this video. Hi everyone, this is Erfan here and in this video I'm going to share with you that how you can create an online course uh, on your WordPress website by using Thrive Apprentice which is from Thrive Theme. So I had a couple of videos before that, uh, you know, uh, giving you some, you know, tutorials how you can use Thrive Themes like Thrive Leads for opt-in forms, Thrive Landing Page, Thrive Architect for creating landing pages, Thrive Quiz Builder, you can check them out. All of them are available on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually create an online course if you want to, you know, just, you know, upload some videos and keep give people some tutorial about your uh, niche or, you know, anything like this. This video is for you. So it's very simple, guys. I'm going to show you how we can create it under, you know, 20 minutes probably because it's just a rinse and, rinse and repeat process. It's super simple and you're gonna see it right now. So if you still haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up and also turn on the notification bell. So next time, if I upload a video, you'll get notified. So let's get into it right now. So for accessing Thrive Themes, you can use the link down below in the description to get access to Thrive Themes. And after that, you can uh, secure your plugins and you can download them and use them immediately. So I'm going to show you what Thrive Themes has and how we can use it in the best way. So Thrive Themes has, you know, a lot of plugins that you can go for them individually or you can buy the membership plan, which is way better because uh, if you want to go for each one of them individually, it's going to cost you $67 for each one of them. But the membership is only $19 per month and you will be uh, able to use all the plugins at the same time. So you don't have to pay individually for that. But if you want to go for all the plugins and you want to pay for the individual plan, imagine that it's going to be almost $600, $500, something like this. Uh, but the membership is going to be worth it too much. So uh, the uh, plugin that we are going to use in this video is called Thrive Apprentice here. Uh, again, you can check them out, you know, to see which one is your best fit. But if you want to create a fully optimized WordPress website, this plugin is for you guys. Click ClickFunnels is $97 a month. The minimum, uh, if you want to get more advanced, it's going to be $297 per month. So imagine that. And you will be dependent on ClickFunnels. But for Thrive Themes, it's your plugin. You just uh, download it on your WordPress website and you can do whatever you want. So check it out. The link is down below in the description. And for Thrive Apprentice, if I click on that, uh, you know, you will see some <clears throat> so descriptions here. And also I'm going to show you the price for uh, only Thrive Apprentice. So uh, it's kind of slow right now. So I'm waiting to load up. So that's what Thrive Apprentice sales page looks like. And then if you scroll down, you will see a price here. So for example, let me just click on a button to get it started. Yes. So one license pack, $67. It means that you will be able to down to actually install it on only one WordPress website. So five licenses pack, $97 for five websites and 15 licenses, $127 for 15 websites. But this one is absolutely enough for you if you just have one WordPress website that you want to upload your contents on. So $67 is this one. So right now I'm inside my dashboard, uh, my, Word, my WordPress dashboard, and I can see Thrive dashboard here. So if you click on this, you can see Thrive Apprentice. So I have, I currently have, uh, okay, let me just update it and I'll be back in a second. Okay, here we go. I just up, uh, updated my plugin, Thrive Apprentice plugin, and this is what I see. So you probably, you, you know, you don't have any of them here, obviously, because you don't have any course. Currently, I have uh, five courses. So some of them are upsells and, you know, this kind of stuff. But uh, it's very easy, guys, for adding a course. You just need to uh, click on Add New right here. And then, so let me show you uh, what it looks like in the members area. And after that, I'm gonna create a new course for you. So for example, for Affiliate Talent, it, which has more than 36 lessons, if I click on that, you will see such a thing, which is your members area in Thrive Apprentice. So we have, we have your name here, 
uh, your uh, the offer name, your picture, the difficulty if you want to go for like easy, intermediate or advanced so that it no don't go for that. And in this section you have a description. It's a it's your info in, it's your actually course info when someone gets into your course. Uh, this is the first thing they see so it's just introduction so and you can also use video for as an introduction but you know in this section i use this text here and in this part we have modules course details access restrictions and uh, it's very cool guys for modules you click on this one and do, then you add it i'm going to show you later but access restrictions is super cool because if you have a paid course you don't want every single user that visits your website uh, be able to actually use your contents because they have to log in or they have to sign up on your website and after that they can use their login information and then they can get access to the course so for um, access restrictions uh, i turn it on because i don't want anyone to get access it and here you can set a rule for that to so see give access if user has any of the following wordpress user user rule subscriber you can add a rule here WordPress role, sorry, uh, we can add a role here, uh, WordPress role and five card product. So the five card product is, uh, is for five themes, which is integrated with your uh, plugin. And after that, you can receive payments and then you give them login information. They can use it to get access to your course, but I didn't do that because I launched my products on Warrior Plus. They uh, do everything themselves. And after that, uh, after purchasing the product, they will receive the link. And the link is here in this section, course details. And here's the link, the, the, the full link that they will receive after purchasing the product so they can get access to the course. So if I click this link and then I paste it here, you will see that it get access to the members area, which is the front end of my product. So I have a video here, which is the, you know, the intro video. And then the modules will get started from here. I have a little bit of description here. If they click on a start course, it will automatically start from the first video, which is introduction. So for introduction, I have, which is the module number one. I have four lessons. Uh, the second module, I have four lessons again time to build a website you know a, a few lessons here and so on there are more than 36 videos in just the front end so uh and here i have a little bit of description about myself in my picture here and yeah that's it so you can add a sidebar if you want you can do a lot of things because all of these plugins are kind of integrated with, with each other and one, once you're using one of them you will be able to integrate the other ones with this one that you're using like you can integrate Thrive Apprentice with Architect, uh, Thrive Architect you can you know add a lot of things you can so for example if you if I click on what is affiliate marketing if I click on that uh, as you can see I added this banner here and this banner here uh, by using Thrive Architect and you can definitely do that by going to the setting uh, that you can actually like here edit with Thrive Architect if you click on that you can customize this page by using Thrive Architect you can add tabs here posts banners videos whatever you want by using Thrive Architect so that's it for, uh, for uh, the integrations. You can also integrate Thrive Leads with Thrive Architect. All of them are connected with each other, guys. That's why I'm saying it's super cool, it's super powerful, and the best option is a monthly one if you want to go for all of them at the same time, if you're really serious about creating a website and actually uh, fully optimize it. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, and as I said, I, they can get access by uh, this link, course details for access restrictions. This is what you set a role. Uh, this is where you set a role actually for paid members or free members. And then he, we have a description here. And here, this is where I added my uh, intro video. So I use Vimeo and then I added my video here. So uh, when someone get it, gets into the members area, this is the first thing they see, my video. So that's it guys. So let's get into Thrive Dashboard one more time. And then I'm gonna uh, Thrive Apprentice, Apprentice Dashboard. And then here, I'm gonna add a new product for you, add new. So for Athlete Talent Main Course, because you know, this is, this is kind of a subcategory. If you wanna do something totally separate, you gotta actually go to, uh, for this one, I can add new topics. 
you can add a new topic and then here you can add new. So here, this is where you choose your topic, uh, video tutorial, and then you can choose a color here. If you want to change the uh, topic icon, you can do, do that as well. So topic icon, icon color. So here, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna change the color right now. I'm, uh, I'm good with that. So video tutorial, got it. Back to dashboard. And now I'm gonna go to add new one more time. And in this section, I'm gonna choose video tutorial, which is something totally different from the rest of my course. So, and here you choose your, uh, the username is here. So I, I'm gonna change the picture later. Difficulty is gonna be none or easy or intermediate or advanced, whatever you want. And course name is gonna be uh, weight, I don't know, weight loss mastery, something like this. <laughs> uh, traffic. Traffic, leads, sales, mastery, something like this. It's the name of your course, doesn't matter really. So traffic, leads, sales, mastery. So, and here it will automatically give you, uh, it automatically gives you a link that you can actually use and you can share it with the others to get access to your training uh, area. So I'm gonna remove the spaces here, like traffic, leads, sales, mastery, and this is a link I eventually need to share with someone else. And here is very cool, guys. You can use your you can use a cover image in order to make it more appealing for your customers, for your visitors when they get into the members area. And this this is kind of like a banner that they will see once they got into uh, your members area. And for description, this is totally up to you whether you want to do something here. Add video description. You turn it on, and you you know shoot a video of yourself or your. If you have a VSL, uh, you can add the link here, uh, and it can be done via YouTube, Vimeo, Vistio, or the custom one. So, uh, there are a couple a couple of options here that you can choose. Allow comments for this course. I never turn it on because it's not really necessary. So I always keep it off. Show offer setting. So this is where I can choose my image here. So if I want to choose my image. It's going to be just, you know, doesn't matter, like this one. And then for, uh, I'm gonna, I can change my name here. Uh, I also have a separate bio for that, custom bio for this course. I can just use the description here. You know, I can write whatever I want. And then on the right side, they will see my image plus my custom bio. So I, you can also set it on a WordPress user bio. It doesn't really matter, but this is how I usually do that. So. This is uh, where you need to actually set it up uh, initially, and then you can go to contents to do that. So, but right now I'm gonna save it. So course description shouldn't be empty. Oh, okay, so you can just, you know, write whatever you want, and then you can save it. Uh, oh, okay, so okay, yeah, I'm gonna turn it off. Save, yeah, okay, and then, you need to add contents here. So, but before that, before getting into anything, go to access restrictions. If it's a paid course, turn restrict access on, and then here you need to set a role. So add rule, WordPress role, and then you can set it up here. Whether uh, the person should be an editor, offer, contributor, subscriber, customer, shop manager, but in this case, I'm gonna go for subscriber. Subscriber means that if they, once they logged in, they can get access to your training without paying anything for that because they already have the link. So if you share the link with someone else, they can easily get access to your course by just creating an account. But if you want to charge them, you need to go for a customer and then you need to integrate it with your five cart pr product or send owl, which is a third party integration with five themes. They accept payments and after that they will receive the link, which is this one and then they create an account, then they can watch your videos. This is how it works. But I'm gonna go for subscriber. So add rule, I already chosen it, so it's restricted by now. And here uh, you can set up a message, a message if someone is not a subscriber or uh, you want to let them know that they need to register before accessing the course, this is where you need to do that. So this course is only available for register users. You know, you can change it the way you want. So. We go to content and then we add new content. So if you want to structure everything, so if you have a lot of modules, a lot of videos like my uh, Athlete Talents, 
a course which is for the front end has 36 videos I just don't want to leave all of my videos uh, you know kind of on the table so you know I just want to don't leave them on the ground and just to see what's gonna happen because nobody can follow uh, my strategy nobody can follow a proven blueprints because uh, my videos are everywhere they don't know what they are watching right now they don't know which steps they are in that's why we go for adding module uh, rather than adding lesson so under module you add lesson so add module first and then the first module this is can be you know 101 uh, introduction and then for the description you can add a description or you can uh, do uh, I don't think that for modules we can do video description I'm not too sure but this is where you add your custom module cover so for this one I'm gonna go for my banner here and then for my logo and then here I'm gonna say in this section I'm gonna go over every single mm, step that you're about to learn something like this this is a description for your first module which is introduction in this lesson I'm gonna go over every single step that you're about to learn so and then you can save it here the the, the red sign means that it's not published yet uh, so obviously you're not ready to so if you want to publish it click on this and then publish so it's not it cannot be published because there's no content but uh, there's a publish button here that you can choose and after that click on add lesson so this is the first lessons uh, that's gonna be so for introduction uh, for example say uh, like what is this course all about and then you can have text lesson or you can have audio lesson or you can have video lesson video lesson and audio lessons uh, convert most rather than text lessons because you know they people don't want to you know spend money on something which is all based on text so because they can just buy a book they don't want to pay you know 50 bucks 60 bucks 100 bucks just to read a bunch of text so this the based on my experience I always go for a video lesson because I shoot a video like this I have myself on camera and then I record it record record a screen and then I upload it on my website so what is this course all about uh, video lesson and here I can add a URL uh, uh, I use Vimeo and then you can add a URL here and then boom save and also you can add a text here it doesn't really matter I don't really do that because they just want to watch the video and if it's only text here I can add a logo again add a banner so I'm gonna add this one use this image save done and this is how you do that and if you remember I said that you will be able to use all the plugins at the same time so it means that all of them are kind of integrated with each other we can edit here uh, for example for in Thrive Apprentice you can edit some elements by Thrive Architect in Thrive Leads you can edit it by Thrive uh, uh, Ovation or Ultimatum all of them are connected with each other and in this section as you can see I can add content by using Thrive Architect and I can just you know customize it I can make it beautiful I can make it more appealing for my visitors and that's what I'm that's the reason I'm saying uh, it's it's really nice to go for all of them at the same time rather than going for them individually so what is uh, this course all about and then I have the lesson and then if I want to add more lesson I just add it like this and all of them are structured all of them are optimized and this is how we can do that and once they see that the interaction okay they know what it is what it's all about they click on it they have the lessons here or they can add we can add chapter but uh, I don't go for chapter usually because you know it doesn't really it's not really necessary I go for only module and lessons so if you want to add content here just simply click on add content and you, here you can add a tons of uh, you know uh, you can add a ton of elements here so for example I have no text here so it was video tutorial the video should appear here I just have my banner here and there is no there should be a text here or a video and this is what my banner looks like on top and here you can do a lot of things as I said click on this plus button add elements 
And on the right side, you will see that there are tons of options that you can go for. You can add a text here. You can add a video here. You can add columns. You can add a logo, countdown timer, custom menu, credit card integration, so many things. Even progress bar, which I really like, tabs. This is what I mostly use. So I use tabs for, you know, for mostly kind of promotions or if I want to actually promote something, if I want to uh, remind them to go for the upsells, this kind of a stuff. And if I click on this one, I can see this template. I can choose this template. And here, uh, here uh, where, it's my, where it's, I can edit them. So for first tab, second tab, and third tab, you can edit the text very easy. Click on edit tab items. And it sees here, you, in this section, you can uh, edit them. Tab number one, tab one. Uh, tab number two and this is how you edit it and in this section if you click on that you can also change the text here again in this box you can add a lot of things like video uh, again columns so many things uh, or I can also add um, a button here so I can add a button it's a call to action button I can edit it the way I want however I want and also I can redirect them to my offer or a web page that I that I'm talking about and uh, this is how we can do that so for background style this is how you can change the style of your button the color of your button and this kind of a stuff so I don't want to go off topic we are talking about Thrive Apprentice right now but I just wanted to show you the power of Thrive theme plugins that how easy they are integrated with each other so it makes the work easy for you so that's how it works guys uh, module number one we have lessons module number two lessons that's it and after you're done click on this one the module the module and then click on publish and this is where you can actually share your contents go to course details you have the link copy it and then paste it here or share it with someone else and they can see the members area but because it's not published right now they cannot see it here it is we already created our course uh, traffic leads sales mastery about this course we have the text here and then for uh, the modules and the, the lessons will be popped up here and if they click on the start course they can get access to everything i have my picture here the description on on below this picture but it didn't choose anything and yeah that's it so for five dash five uh i think i covered every pretty much everything for you but if you want me to create a fully uh, optimized, you know, if you want to uh, make a video to uh, create a full course and then upload it on Thrive Apprentice, leave me a comment right now and let me know whether I should do that or not. Because I don't want to make this video so long. This is just an overview of Thrive Apprentice that how easy it is you can use it. But if you want to have a uh, full tutorial about it please let me know I definitely do that I create a course and then I upload it live for you every single step will be covered but if you have any question please don't hesitate to ask me uh, leave your comments down below uh, this video and also you can get access fry themes by clicking on the link below in the description and then I send it to you it's very simple stuff uh, and uh, it's 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 laser focused on conversion so again uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you and i'll see you in the next video